Spotify, YouTube. I'm just playing. Um, I've got a new a Loctite super glue. This is the max strength one, as the other one seems to have finished. This was about two pound from Amazon, but I can't remember the price exactly. Um, I've just dug up some dyes from next door that I'm gonna be using with my new plates. Mm, and this is definitely an embossing. Uh, this is um, spell binders. I could never get it to cut right because I never had long plates. And so now I have got nine inch long plates. And hopefully the whole thing will cut through in one pass. So I'm going to be trying that. I'm going to cut this from cardboard because I'm making something using lollipop sticks again and I'm gonna use this as well so just um, that other thing turned out so nice I've stuck it in my bathroom on the wall her child's going to be very upset I never gifted it to her oh, but I can make her another one yeah, so let's see if this fits on the plate yes and I need to find long enough paper for that and this one I can't remember where I got that from or how much it was will fit here, this is a sticker sheet that will fit on there and let's see if that fits on there yes so and then I just need to get a long I can use that as well, that's from my other video I can use them today in the project that I'm making now um, I'm using some lollipop sticks again to make something and a bit of ribbon this time I'm just going to make a gate but a different type of gate so um, I just need some stuff on the desk. I'm going to use this and measure this. Just off there. This one. Down here. Just this way. Just this way. See what I'm doing. No problem. It's still slightly off, so um, I have to move lots of products out the way now to make room for my machine but not the Anna Griffin one um, that's for a different video well actually it might stick to this plasticky sheet yes let's try that can you see that it's not so flat and no okay it doesn't stick it doesn't matter well you get the idea don't you so um what am I cutting up first and use my no I'm gonna be doing some bossing hopefully so like a a a for base magnetic shim which I made 
die. That requires a bit of embossing. Look at the stitching detail. So I have to take these pieces out. That's firm stuck in there firm. So put the cardboard on. And put the cutting plate, not that etched into there, cutting, and then zoom it through, oops, oh it's a very thick piece of tight maybe I should not put the magnetic shim in or maybe I'm struggling now oh I could go back yeah I'll go back go back go back trial and error I don't want to break my machine you know so there we go I'm taking the magnetic shim out you hope nothing else gets ruined. Take that out and start again. Try not to move anything. Whisper it so the machine doesn't notice. Yeah, that's easier. Okay, hopefully it will cut. I'm gonna pass it, pass it through twice. So actually, it's better if the machine's stuck to the table, then you don't have any problems. Oh, the camera's moving too. Sorry about that. And there. Oh, everything's falling over. Yeah, I am going to move that out the way. Oh, it's just one of those days, as they say. Right, one second. I'm going to clear this out. Ooh, I didn't know there was a mess in there. Alright, let's see if that worked. Without the magnetic shim. Has it cut through? Yes! Whoopee! And it's embossed. Oh, that is beautiful. Very, very nice. Oh, the owl is separate, which I don't mind. Oh, that is so cute. Oh, look, it's so sweet. Man across the way from where I live is having a party. Oh, so lovely. And it's embossed. And you didn't even need the embossing pad. <laughs> or maybe that's just a gimmick. Push that through. Take that out carefully. Don't stab your fingers around the back. Ooh. No, not so perfect then. Just wriggle it till it comes out. Yippee doo, look. Can you see, can you see? That's the bit I was having trouble with. That little bit. He's got like a flower in his hair. Oh, it's so nice. That 
bit need to clean them. Mm. You can put that down with glue or pull it off or pull it off with your fingers. It's just a bit of card, you see, extra. We're so cute. Okay, that's the one. This is just regular card. You can use that as a stencil now. So that's one. Now. Now, now, now. Um, now, base plate. And this time I can use the magnetic shim. Because I'm not using cod. So, the die. Um, the shiny sticky paper. Shiny side down. Cutting plate on top. And the machine. Oh, I'm going to stick it down this time so I have less of an issue. Yep. Sorry for that. Pull it through and hope for the best. Much easier to go through, much, much easier. Um, I might run it through twice just to be on the safe side again or should I see if it just cut through one pass yes perfect one pass it cut through perfectly okay so can you see that lift it off oh very nice and you can use that as a stencil too oh well background to something hold on background Oh yeah, look. Mm, very nice. Do you like it? Mm. Okay, so that cut through nicely. You can poke the pieces out. Oopsie. Pokey too. And this one's a sticker, so I can do this anytime. I don't have to do it right now. Oh, that is beautiful. Look. It's so lovely. I'm going to use that in my design of what I'm making. So keep that to one side. I'm going to use the stars and the two cats and the moon as well. So that's one there. Now the hardest one. Base. Extra long. Very long. Spell binders. Never ever cut before. Not had issues. I'm not going to dig the pieces out. Can't be bothered shiny side down look there's a bit missing so mm, still still gonna try put that through this one oh it's gonna ruin my design oh should i go that way no it's gonna spoil my beautiful design Decisions, decisions, what to do? Just go over this way then. I don't want my design to spoil. I lose mood, it's so silly. Well, they are my plates, so in it goes. And nothing. This way. And nothing. It's not stuck down. Because you know the um, they they require you to leave a gap, so I'm gonna have to leave a gap. So that means not all of it will cut. Never mind, I only need about half of this. I have to leave a small gap. 
Otherwise, my machine doesn't catch uh, the plates. Okay, put it down there. That side down because I don't want to spoil my design. It looks like I itched it myself, but it did not. So I'll put that in. Put that in. And hope for the best. Machines come unstuck. Push it down. Why is it working? Something's gone wrong. Hmm. I'll push it back a bit more then. Base, base, base. I've got the base. Do it this way. Base, I've got the base. Shiny side down. Um, cutting plate on top. And push it through. Oh, here it goes. Okay, it's come up again. Oh, it's physiotherapy for my bad arm. Oh, bad shoulder. Phew, I'm only doing that once. Oh, God. Oh, I don't know. Physiotherapy. Three. No waiting list. Oh my god, that was hard. Okay, and perfect. Take those pieces out. Okay, my design still looks cute. And let's see what I need cut and embossed. So let's see, take that off. I'm going to use scissors because it didn't cut all the way to the end. Looks like to leave a space, as you know. So, I could use that trimming for something. To off the mat. Now, I'm going to have an issue or not. Let's see. We are looking for embossing and cutting at the same time. Oh my god, that is, I can't believe that. I've had this die for so long and never been able to use it because, oh wow, it never cut before. Those plates, those plates are nice. And a griffin. Nine inch, look. I just have to take a few things out. And I can use those as stickers for something. Oh, wow. That's really good. If you can buy these plates separately and uh, make yourself a cheap mat, almost free. Magnetic, 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 <laughs> magnetic, sorry, right, then you should invest in these plates, right, they are super good, I'm gonna buy some more, oh wow, because the thickness of that one, see, and that one, I haven't had the chance to use that yet, embossing, but I will, when I find my Salenda embossing folders, they are lost. Sorry about the noise. So, I have to dig these out using this. I'm going to do it later, not now. And I could just take a few of these out. That is so good. Just poke through. And you got free sticker there. Almost free. Wow. I'm gobsmacked, sorry. 
in that gifted health. I've had that die for so long and wow, that is marvellous. I have not cut it out for so long. Okay, so now my actual project was going to be the experimentation of that plus um, turning these lollipop sticks into gates not gates, sorry, one gate I'm going to cut them in half and then oh, hold on, I don't want to spoil my table so just to take this off this is my nice table I don't want to spoil it so I'm going to put my cover back down so that's sort of ruined there but sometimes gates get damaged so this is going to be one of those half gates now I just need a pencil roughly mark it shall I measure them or measure them this is going to be a super long video I don't even know if the time of this video is just going on and on and Okay, so it's 11, 15, 11, I just roughly do it there. I'm going to cut them in half. I mean, I've measured them down. Oh, we can't even see the pencil line. Doesn't matter, just judge it, do it, play it by ear as they say. So, I can see the first one is there. So, just cut that in half. And then in half. It's kind of go flying everywhere. So, I'm just playing it by ear now. Oh, some of them are cracking. Oopsie, and then right need strong scissors. I should have ten pieces now. Let's see. Yeah, there will be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, eight. Nine. <laughs> I got nine. Where's the other one gone? Where, where did he go? Nine. I've got nine. I need one more. Ay, ay, ay. Where did it go? Oh, <laughs> it just flew off. Yikes. So uh, let's count that again. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. Okay, I've got nine. I should have ten. So, I don't know. Here it is. Just behind there. Oh, this one's wrecked. I'll stick it with cellar tape. Oh, this one's ruined. It's shattered. Look. <laughs> Where's the cellar tape? Where are you? Seven tape. Just gonna join that one together. It's nice to have everything handy dandy on your workstation. Just join that one together because I really need it. I don't want it broken. Fences get broken in real life too, so it looks authentic now. Authentic, is that the word? Yep. Okay, so now I'm going to have this type of gate. Look. Uh, you know, slightly with a gap in the middle. Okay, and then I'm going to use some of this to hold it together. 
actually I'm going to cut that in half because I don't want such a long gate. I'm going to cut that in half. Cut that in half because I've got an idea for this. That's why I don't want a really long gate. Oh no, this is not a gate actually. So it's a fence. Because on, on top of the fence, I'm going to have my bits and bobs my street lamp my cardboard cut out owl sitting on one post oh, spaces that's a premium as they say baby is running out I could have like a letterbox, but I have to make it myself. Um, a message thing you could have somewhere. I don't know. I um, haven't decided about that. So put owl sitting there. Then we got a broken fence post. And um, I might get rid of one of these. I don't need it that long. So then that will be holding the together. This old piece of ribbon and that might be the back of it and then you don't see the ribbon so take that off um, so do that again so you do have ribbon to join it obviously but you don't see it and you can have it like this oopsie so the curvy bits down and the straight bits up so then the owl's got something to sit on then just leave a gap in the middle oh that's too short my cutting was bad <laughs> so there we go still want five have I got five? one, two, three, four, five yes, five you could have six is there any room? Right, so those will be stuck with this Loctite, the runny version, because the other one's run out. That owl is sitting there, or even here, on the broken fence post, or there, just anywhere, you know, wherever you plonk him. And then that will be there, and then. This is just a seam I'm making and put them in there for later. Now, where's the cardboard thing that I cut out? Oh, this could be, no, no, not this. This is for something else. Okay, so, um, sorry, I'm just talking to myself. So that has to all be stuck on and then this has to go somewhere. I don't know where. Let's see if we can use this. We can get another lollipop stick and then get that to go on there. Or, oh no, hold on. Right, move him over so he's not stuck down. Then get this to be stuck on there. There's a sticker, so you can stick that anywhere. That's a good idea, what do you think? Right. So this can go on a card. Or if you're not happy you can turn the gate round. So then, so you get the round circle on the top. Such as a British gate, a fence, British. See? There. Now the owl can be sitting on the broken one or not, your choice. And just put him there. And then that can go there. Hmm. Yes, I'm just playing. Um I'm gonna put it together later. I just wanted to give you an idea of 
Those brilliant mats, everything they can do from the Anna Griffin collection. Okay, see you. Take care. Bye. Well, I haven't signed off. <laughs> I'm signing off now. See you. Bye. Oh, it's a 30 minute video. Oh no. See you. Take care. Bye.